Hey guys, today we're working on the gas-powered Case 530 backhoe. As far as the Case 530 tractor, if it's gas or diesel, it's gonna pretty much have the same, a lot of the same components. Even the engine block, I believe, is the same. They just configured it for diesel, for gasoline or natural gas um, consumption. Now the first problem we're having on this tractor is the electric starter is turning over. It's spinning, but it's not engaging on the flywheel. So what that pretty much comes down to is your bindex, which is this mechanism here. All right, guys. So we got the starter apart. Like I said earlier, this is on a Case 530. This is the backhoe variant, but the engine, the power system is the same. And this starter, how the setup is, is very similar on a lot of older tractors and even older cars. I've even made some old Ford starters work on my Ford tractors just fine. So the problem with this one is the Bindex was seized up so it wasn't coming fully out. See how it slides in and out and I believe it's not going in all the way as well which can be dangerous if it sticks to the flywheel. You can chip this up. Now when you're taking apart your starter you want to be careful. You got on most of them it's typically two long bolts they come out this side and they will bolt into this housing here just like that and you want to be careful for what's inside because this starter is in pretty bad shape it still has some more some life into it life in it but uh so the magnets and all that are falling apart and it's really dirty so i'm not going to touch it that much at all just kind of get it to work for now then I can order another one. I want to make sure this tractor is good before I put a lot of money into it. If you're looking for the starter model number, hopefully this helps you out. It's, like it's a DU 7102, it's an 838 here, 242. This is 7102 11S on this. So that may help you. Also, your brushes are pretty easy to change out, but I won't go into that detail. But pretty much what you want to start out with is make sure your solenoid is functioning. You can hook up power to here, the positive, and then ground it on the piece. You can use a jumper box and turn it on when this is all together. And if it spins, your electric motor is, you know, good for now. Um, if it's not engaging, you know, you have a Bindex problem, which would be this area here. So I went ahead and cleaned this. This was seized. It wouldn't come out all the way. So I think I got it unseized enough where it will at least start the tractor. I'm not sure if it's gonna go back in. I feel like this piece is stuck out. It should go back farther in, but I guess we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna clean this up a bit, connect it all back together, and we're gonna see if the, uh, the first attempt to start the, uh, the old Case 530 will be successful.